How we doing nation time for another autograph binder video but a couple things I wanted to start with were a few things I got in the mail um, this is a through the mail haven't gotten many this year um, this off season Craig Stammen I think that's an awesome looking signature um, the way he spells out Craig the S just very good calligraphy looks awesome I'm former Washington National really happy to get him that came back in about 11 days also, this is a card. I've always wanted one of these in my collection. As you can see in the top, it's a one of one. It's from Leaf, the Perfect Game series. Jack Jaciak, maybe. He is a redshirt freshman at um, University of South Florida. He missed last season with an injury. So, I have no clue um, what he may end up doing with his career. If he's going to be um, an all-around great pitcher like Max Scherzer type, if he even gets drafted. Basically, what I wanted for my collection was a one of one. Finally got one. Um, there's a few other things I'd still love to get. One day I'd like to get a printing plate. Um, just some different little things. But a one of one is something I always wanted. I think I got this for all of like $4. Um, I did not realize. You can see it on the back. This is actually a blank back. So you can see there's absolutely nothing on the back. It says right there, blank back pink one of one base auto and then kind of the um, certification from leaf but now we're going to move on to the autograph binders I know you guys tend to enjoy that and we're going to start with E today and as you can see Adam Eaton this is almost a really good example of how an autograph changes from when a guy's in the minor leagues to the big leagues the one on the left he signed through the mail um, when he was in the minor leagues, that is the Missoula Osprey. So that's um, just class A ball. Um, so he probably signed that in 2012. He might have been high A, double A at the time. And then we got Josh Edgen. Um, it looks like that's a lot. This is over the course of about an 80 game season. He's just, he wasn't very pleasant to deal with. Um, down here, Zach Eflin. He was pretty nice um, guy, Dave Island. That was a through the mail. But I like getting some classics sometimes. Joey Aishan I got in person. Some of these I know names probably you aren't going to recognize. Lee Elia. He um, was, I believe, a field instructor or special assistant to the GM with Atlanta when I was working doing um, video stuff with the Braves. And when I was done doing video stuff, I was able to find this card. And he was such a nice guy. He um, would sit up with me in the stands. And we'd talk for a couple hours during the game while I was charting pitches and all that stuff. And I was like, you know, I'd really like to add his autograph to my collection. So the next year when I wasn't working for the Braves anymore, I was able to get him to sign a card. Ronis Ilias. This is um before he was with the Nationals. So I was pretty happy to know I had him in my collection. Robbie Erlin. Some of these guys you might not recognize. You probably do recognize this one. First Bowman Chrome. This is Eduardo Escobar. Um, he was with the White Sox at the time. Now he's with, <clears throat> I believe, the Arizona Diamondbacks. I remember him with the Twins, but I think he's with the Diamondbacks now. A couple of Eduardo Escobars. I really like these Bowman Platinums. So I tried to get as many from that year signed as I could. And there's another Altoona Curve. I was collecting those. You've got Danny Espinoza. He was really nice at one point. And last year with Syracuse, he was such a pain. He came out, literally walked all the way around, came out the home clubhouse, basically to avoid signing autographs. And I was like, hey, Mr. Espinoza, great game. Can um, I get your autograph? Walked right past me like I didn't even exist. And he basically, I must have played kind of chicken with me, walked right at me, and I kind of had to get out of his way. Um, so, I'm not sure what happened to him, but, oh well, he used to be good, and then something happened. And then we've got Adam Everett, he, um, Everett and another guy, you'll see later, David Eckstein, they both played on the same summer league team, um, back home where I'm from, in the, um, Valley League, I believe they were both Harrisonburg Turks at one point, um, so that's, just kind of a fun fact because they both made their name in the majors as very defensively oriented shortstops. But one had to play short and one had to play second for the Turks. 
Alcides Escobar, he played for the Charlotte Knights last year. It was always great getting to watch him play defense. Um, there were very few who could play it like him, especially being able to see it at the AAA level. It was pretty, pretty cool. And he was always good for about one every time he saw him. Same with Adam Engel. He was real nice about signing. Drew Ellis, I think he was pretty good through the mail, but these may have been help I've gotten from other people. Cassides Escobar. And last but not least, David Eckstein, which I have to say this one right here is probably one of my favorites. Fleer Hardball, I believe from 2002. Um, I haven't seen many of these, kind of the cards the shape of baseballs. But he signed it at a perfect spot right above his name. Really happy about that. Um, they came back, I think, in a couple months. A nice looking signature. But again, being a Valley League legend, he got inducted into the Valley League Baseball Hall of Fame. I really wanted to be able to add him um, to my autograph collection. was really happy I was able to. And giving you a sneak peek, you can kind of see one of the Fs below for when we come back with some more auto videos. Um, which... And then just to kind of close out with some more Axteen. The Diamond Kings I always think are awesome. And then I got one more Ronis Alias after he got picked up or traded to the Nationals. So we'll wrap up right here. It's a little short one um, with the E's. Not a ton of players with E last names that I have autographs for. Um, we'll hit F next time. Again, I'm not 100% sure when that'll be. Uh, my first child is due later this week so the videos might be a little bit more inconsistent so i just um ask you bear with me um be sure if you don't have your notifications turned on go ahead and subscribe click the bell so when the next one goes up you will get notified hope you have an amazing weekend if you don't hear from me before then god bless i'll see you next time happy collecting